You need to mix me down. It's all good. Thanks, Smoketown. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the two. Well, I don't even fuck this thing. Welcome to the 2011 World War of the World. Places near and far, their words everywhere, hoping they're gonna make it into the tournament. Tonight we find out which lucky 64 words make it into the 2011 War of the World Championship! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and a distinct pleasure to present to you the Commissioner of the War of the Words Championship, the Commish! out there, some newbies. So, I guess I'd like to say, uh, the commission would like to say, uh, for all of you uh, sitting out there thinking to yourselves, okay, but what, what the fuck is this? Uh, the commission is, don't you worry, the commission is going to do his damn uh, to explain it to you. Okay? And if, after the end of uh, the commission's uh, uh, spiel, uh, spiel. Is that a word? Yes. Yes! yes. Yeah? Are we sure? Woo. Good one. Ceremonies, we sure about that? Spiel's a word! Oh! <laughs> Someone, let's, uh, let's consult, uh, <laughs> Miriam and, uh, Ken Webster to confirm. Yes, of course, you're right, uh, yes, uh, spiel is a word, yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, spiel means, uh, uh, a voluble line of uh, extravagant talk, often, uh, often, yeah. A voluble line of often extravagant talk, okay? Uh, first used in the word 1890, first used in the year 1896. All right. Okay? That was just a test. Yes. Your language. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, as I was saying, <laughs> as, uh, as I go through this spiel, as uh, I should say, the commission goes through this spiel. Another thing the commission does is sort of waver in and out of uh, addressing himself in the third person. Depending how excited or drunk he is, um, as the commish uh, goes through this spiel, which is a great word, by the way. Yeah. Spiel. A, a possible 2012 uh, attorney contender, right? Master Ceremonies, make a note. Do you have a pen handy? <laughs> make a mental note. Commence dictation now. Spiel. End dictation. <laughs> I can remember that one. So as the commish uh, finishes his little speech here, and you feel this isn't your cup of tea, this isn't your scene, all right? The stairs are right here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, I won't be offended. The commish won't be offended. No hard feelings. Uh, perhaps you can't stomach the number of letters, okay? Perhaps, perhaps this thing is one too many syllables for you, okay? 
And if that be the case, all due respect, but you're dead to me. <laughs> Get out of my sight. This event is not for posers. I'm dead serious about that. <laughs> So the World Awards started in 2008. Uh, the very first matchup. Does anyone remember? Any veterans out there? Remember the very first game that was played? Two words. Two words that faced off against each other. Anyone? You need a hint? Yep. Yes. Okay, fine. It was a classic matchup. I shouldn't have to say much more than this. It was the 8-9 seed matchup out of the noun division of 08. Anybody? <laughs> Come on. Eight seeds st seed started with a B, nine seeds started with an O. I shouldn't have to say anymore. You better sit down, shut up, and get ready for the words. <laughs> was outcropping versus byproduct. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, you guys remember that? Byproduct. Byproduct. It's still on my it's still on my table at home, I think. Uh, I remember at the end byproduct was like <laughs> and outcropping was like sa sa and the and the ref was like no no and I was like this can't be happening in front of me. I couldn't believe it. But yeah there it was and that's what started this whole thing outcropping versus byproduct. <laughs> And since then, the uh, tournament's just gotten bigger and bigger over the years, and we've seen such champions as um, Bulbous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on! Uh, Tutelage. Nice. And uh, the much maligned uh, winner from last year, uh, Six Seed Stupefy. Which, uh, which upset uh, the fan favorite Palpable in the finals. Oh, uh, Palpable! Yeah, I don't have to say it. Palpable got ripped off. Percolate! Salvador! 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 Uh, the commission's picked 64 words. Actually, this year it's 63. We have one wild card, which I'll, among, which I'll announce in a couple minutes. Okay. Woo! Wild, wild cards! Card! Wild cards! Uh, we got 64 words. Uh, the commission's organized them in four regions. They've been seated, and uh, they're going to be released to a trusting public. Okay, to uh, predict to the best of their ability uh, which word will end up champion. Okay. Um, the person who does the uh, best job at uh, predicting how this tournament will unfold, okay, and the unfolding, which of course is determined by 100% me, the commissioner, okay, <laughs> is going to win themselves an oversized check for $100. Woo! How is it? <laughs> how big is it? So that is last year's winner, Ben Holmes, who, who could not be here tonight, unfortunately. And the idea is that this year the check is going to be bigger, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not in monetary value, but in just sheer size. Square footage. Square footage. Square footage. Square footage. Square footage. <laughs> and I have yet to confirm this, but rumor has it that the winner will get the oversized check for hundred dollars, as well as two tickets to Atlantic City. Is that true? Really? Is that true? Oh is that is that true? Master Server is getting the bill for that. Okay, because I'll tell you what, the commission's invested enough of his own fucking money in this goddamn thing. Are those round trip or, uh... One way. One way. One way, one way tickets. One way tickets to Atlantis. So now, uh, a couple things that you guys need to know about the tournament, about the words themselves, right? Here's a couple words about the words, okay? Number one, no slang terms, okay? There's no chodes. No chaches, there's no crotch waffles, no bitch assness, like no. Not in my house. No. There's no proper nouns. There's no like Titi Kaka or Gabriella Sabatini. Alright. Ribizi, Ribizi, whatever his name is. Thank you. Although that's a great idea for another tournament. I'd love to see like Bono against. Bono against like Sonny Bono. <laughs> or Uma Thurman against Jimmy Too Bono. soon! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's number two. Number three thing you gotta remember, okay, the key to these words is they have to at least have the, the relative like possibility of coming up in everyday conversation, okay? 
So you're not going to see words like uh, bartrachophagus, which is one who eats toads. Okay, that's really what that word means. You're not going to see words like uh, like shopping uh, toads, like the kind you get from public. Like the thing that hangs at the end of a hood of someone that would, of something that someone would wear in medieval times. You're not going to see words like uh, what's another like crazy word. Birkin. I've got it written down. Birkin. Uh, I say that all the time. Scopsy, which is uh, which is a term for self castration. You won't see that word. Oh. That's a good word. Sorry, have you heard it? Shotsy. But what you're going to be blessed uh, with is a myriad. Good word. Yep. It's a myriad of words that can come up. They have the possibility to come up in everyday conversation amongst you and your loved ones. Words like toboggan or turbo, right? Minutia, malfeasance, undulate, unitard. These are great fucking words. These are the type of words that you're about to be exposed to this evening. Great fucking words! Alright. You better sit down, shut up, and get ready for the word. Woo! Smoking need to use that one one more time. Get ready for the word. Are you quiet and to listen? Two words. <laughs> Tom, hold it for a second. So at oh, some yeah. point, much later tonight, okay? Because here's what's going to happen, okay? At the end of tonight, you're going to know what six four words are, okay? okay? We're going to give you, you brackets that, uh, like, uh, like a piece I of paper swear. that's going to show all the 64 words that you can study on your way home, uh, on the subway or what have you. Uh, and we're going to give you clear instructions <laughs> of when and where to go online to fill out your bracket, okay? Um, at some point later on tonight, uh, possibly tomorrow, depending on how loaded the uh, commission gets, we're going to be publishing the bracket online, and uh, we'll tell you the URL to go to, right? And uh, you guys are going to have a total of two weeks to do two things. You're going to have two weeks to A, fill in your bracket, and B, get as many friends, family, co-workers, enemies, or whatever, to, to fill out the bracket as well. We want to get as many people to play this thing as possible, okay? Due date for the brackets is going to be September 22nd, uh, which is two weeks from today at noon, all right? We'll be reminded of that date later. Um, so, I guess without further ado, let's uh, start revealing the words. Are you guys ready? Okay, so the very first word that's going to get revealed, and I think this is appropriate, is going to be our wild card word. So, uh, first, I have to give some props to some people who submitted some great words, but unfortunately, They've been participants in years past. So, props out to Plethora. Already been in the tournament. All right. Good word! Dubious. Already been in the tournament. Akimbo. Spoiler alert. About to be in the tournament. Oh! oh. The winning word. And I probably should have put something in here that said uh, the name of the person. So, I'm hoping that they're, uh, they're still here. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, smoke, you don't have a drum roll uh, sitting in there anywhere, do you? Very uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winning word this evening is suck a tap. Suck a tap. Oh, word. What? Suck a tap. You say if you suck a tap. There's a right, we're already getting uh, some uh, some people in the way. Can you just tell us what succotash is? What does succotash mean? It's sort of a summer salad with like corn and tomatoes, onions, maybe. Yeah, American yeah. yeah. It's that, and it's a lot fucking more than that. It's a word that, that uh, here, well, you know what? I'm not going to speak for you. I, I have my own little spiel about succotash, but you tell, tell us why you thought succotash was an amazing word. Kelsey! Well, it has a Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dip I thought that it sounded like maybe a little bit like a dirty teen, maybe a little bit like a Jewish holiday. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
Mind is Images are sitting at home watching Saturday morning cartoons, and so you've got that on one end of the spectrum, and it's also a pretty good